Hello and welcome back to my realm. So glad to see you guys back. Now you may notice that I'm wearing an iron helmet and my chest plate is not enchanted. And the reason for that being, well, for the helmet, I my helmet's just about to break and I need to repair it and I don't really feel like using up more of my diamonds right now. Uh, so iron it is. But as for my chest plate, I actually lost it in the nether. That and my silk touch pickaxe. So I'm pretty sad and depressed about that right now. I need, still need to get a new silk touch pickaxe or else I can't move my ender chest. And uh, that kind of sucks, you know. But yeah, I lost it in the nether trying to get quartz. Of course, literally how I lost all my stuff last time was trying to get quartz. Like, I just need quartz. Just give me quartz. <laughs> and I keep losing my stuff in the nether. It's so frustrating. But anyways, uh, welcome back to week four of my realm. And I think my last video, week three, is going to be a little bit late to be uploaded, but that's just because I'm very busy this month with finals. This is the, oh, also, yeah, I got Frostwalker on my boots. But yeah, so this is my last month of the semester, so it's all finals this month, so... Uh, it's possible that I might even, like, skip a week of a tour or something if I'm really busy. But, yeah. If that happens, it's no big deal. Um, I'll just, I'll just continue again. I'll just pick it back up. No big deal. Alright, so let's begin our tour. Woo! Actually, we got a few funny stories that happened this week, but I'll tell you as we go on our tour. So first thing I would like to start off with is my villagers. I've been working a lot on villagers this week. Um, they're still not, like, crazy maxed out or whatever, um, and I am learning a lot about villagers as I do this because I, uh, I don't really like looking up at the wiki, not because I think it's cheating or anything, I'm just lazy and would rather just figure things out on my own than read. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've actually ever looked at the Minecraft wiki. Most of everything I know comes from watching YouTubers and figuring it out, but... I might have to open up the wiki eventually. <laughs> so as you can see here, we've got the little farm area for my villagers are farming potatoes, but occasionally one of them's got wheat seeds in here. So I have to be careful that they're, they continue farming potatoes so that way they continue breeding. And they got like little, little babies here. Yeah, I think I've shown you guys this. But the big thing, I've been working on doing. Okay, you want to come? Okay, yeah, you. Okay, no. Make up your mind. In or out? In or out? You? No, I want you. Okay, no, you can. You can come in. But I don't want the farmers coming in. Um. So yeah, I've been working on making a little villager trading hall. Now it's not great. It's uh very ugly, very primitive, I guess you could say, because I am still learning how these things work. Um. But I got villagers in little areas, so it's very easy for me to go up to them and start trading and see this is where I got my frost walker from. He also has a power one. So I got farmers here so I can get a lot of emeralds from doing some farming. And then I got my librarians hoping on trying to get enchanted books. That's probably the hardest thing because they trade a lot of paper and paper is kind of expensive to get. Uh, he's got an unbreaking three books, so that's pretty good. Also, I do want to eventually do the thing where you zombify a villager and uh, cure them. I think what's... How do you do it? I think you need to put a weakness potion on them and then feed them a golden apple, if I'm correct. Um, something along those lines. And, oh yeah, this is, by the way, how I get them into, this, into their spots. It's very frustrating and annoying, and I refuse to just... I guess I could put him in a boat and get him down there, but whatever. I, I, I just kind of pushed them down there. He takes a little bit of damage, but it's okay. I, I'll, I'll deal with him later. <laughs> and then I go down here. And um, I got a lot of fishermen because we have the spider farm. So we have a lot of strings. So I can get emeralds from them very easily. Um, and then this guy, he, his sign doesn't work. I'll tell you guys about that later. But this guy, he is a cartographer, and I had a cartographer, so this, this is something that I learned, one of the first things I learned, is that apparently if you trade with them, uh, it locks in their job and you can't change it. So I got rid of the cartographer station, I was like, why is he not, like, changing back into a regular 
villager, but apparently that was the reason because I'd already traded with him once. So he's just a cartographer, um, and I was going to make the sign say cartographer, but I need to do that still. Um, and then I got some stone cutters. I don't really, uh, or masons, sorry. I don't really remember <laughs> why I got masons, but I think they might trade quartz. I am thinking that's why I put them there. Um, got another librarian here. Oh, he's, oh, quick charge. Oh, I haven't traded with him yet. I should do that, like lock that in. Um, oh, that's a bad trade. That's, that's a pretty bad trade. <laughs> yep. So yeah, I kind of just, uh, like block off areas and then make it so that like the villager will just walk into their spot and then I trap them in there. Yeah, very simple, very, very basic. I don't really want to get into a whole bunch of redstone stuff and complicated things right now. I'm just, uh, not there yet. But it, it works for me for now. Oh, this, this villager's probably going to escape if I do this. Nope. Okay. Speaking of redstone and things, I made this, started making a little automated sorter here. This is the first time I've ever made an automated sorter. And I used a tutorial by Rabid S'mores. Um, it's pretty basic. It, honestly, it's, it's not working too well for me because, uh, I just don't have enough categories in here yet. So I need to like really expand it, but I'll probably actually make like a bigger version down the line and it's going to be underneath the ground some more. So I have more room because right now if I dig out, it's just going to go like to the outside. Um, I've also been extending my diamonds. I got, I'm sorry, make uh, a new diamond throne. And then my sister and I built this. It's just like a little awning on the outside here, uh, a little porch kind of area. And I used the same like uh, leaves and bushes like I did in the gardening shop, which still needs to get finished. <laughs> yeah. That's still a little bit of a work in progress, but this is really cool. And I hope I can use this sword or two for like some of our little shops. Um, so once I get the sheep, the wool farm started, um, I'm going to make like a sorter definitely for all the different colors of wool and perhaps even a sorter for the different dyes and all that sort of stuff. Now we'll be moving on to Eva's temple. And as you can see here, a lot has happened. And this is mainly the work of my sister. She saw the cliff that I made, the bad cliff, but she liked it. She thought it looked like more like something that crumbled down in the past. So she started to work on it. I love the way she's been mixing textures here. The mossy cobblestone and the bricks and all that. Also, the use of the azalea bush here is really creative. I, I hadn't thought about doing that, like using it for the flooring. Um, it looks really great. So yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool now because of the work that she's done. And then up here, oh, wow, that is a lot of banners. Okay, wow. And also a, a bunch of snow. That's right. Eva was saying that she figured out how to get snow, like infinite snow. Um, right. When I go branch mining, I get a bunch of deep slate. So I just give it all to Eva at her doorstep here. I, I wonder if she's going to get annoyed with that eventually. Oh, this must be where she's getting her snow from. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how that works. Um, so inside of her temple, you see she started using her floors here. And she's also started working with villagers and stuff. This is where she's keeping her villagers. Um, she just recently started this all up. So it's kind of cute. They kind of got like their own little homes. Um, she treats them a lot better than I treat my villagers, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so yeah, and she's trying to get like one of every kind of worker. So that's pretty cool. Cause right now I've just been focusing on certain types of workers. So if I ever need something from a different kind of trader, she should have it. And she made this really awesome redstone elevator, but I think last night it got blown up by a creeper. So I don't know if it works right now. Let's see, is this the call button? Doesn't sound like anything is happening. 
Oh, wait, no, I hear it. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, it came down. Okay, let's see if this works. I hope I'm not gonna break anything by doing this. But yeah, it had a roof on it before, so it seems like the creeper may have just exploded some of the, um, like the outer fancier parts of it. Let's see, I think I pressed that and up we go. So it looks like it's still functional. That is great. Oh, this actually scares me a little bit. <laughs> I know there was a skeleton here once too. I think she just needs to light this up, but it brings you to the top tower. Um, and inside she had a bunch of beds here before, but I guess she doesn't have that anymore. And can we go back down from here actually? Mm. See any buttons anywhere? I am not certain. I don't think I can get back down. Um, there was a button to get back down, but I think um, I think maybe the creeper may have destroyed that. So we'll just have to get down the long way. Oh, but while we're here, we can also look at the rail system. So Eva's also been doing a lot of work on her rail system. Oh my gosh, and the farms and everything. So much stuff. Um, but here is a place where you can like reset the cart or something like that. So we'll go down here, you just click the button, the cart will go down, it'll start going um, up. Yeah, we got a lot done this week. You know, I was saying in the last video that I thought we were slowing down a bit, but then this week we just really, I think, outdid ourselves <laughs> by our standards. Of course, you have to remember, we only play this like in the evening, um, after work and after I'm done with my schoolwork and all that. So, yeah. Um, and then we got the panda. So... Know how I was saying last time that Eva found a panda, but she unfortunately lost the panda. I was hoping I could find her a new panda. Well, I haven't found her a new panda, but I did make her a panda. <laughs> I think it says on the side, should I fall down here? I'll, I'll take fall damage, but is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's the question. You know what? I can just use the ladder over here. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. So yeah, um, I made her a panda. I left her a note, I got you a panda, kinda. And I think she likes it, so I'm happy about that. She also um, converted the bamboo here into a door so that you can get into this pretty easily. Oh, it is pretty dark in here. And this is where you get the melons and pumpkins from her melon farm. And, oh. Apparently she has a chicken farm here as well for eggs. That's interesting. I find so many things when I do these tours. She makes so many like little tiny things here and there that are very easy to miss. It's like a temple of contraptions. <laughs> oh, and her rail system, by the way, it goes out really far now. Um, it goes out into a mesa, through a jungle, through a desert. It's crazy how far it goes. I'm just looking around seeing if there's anything else here I missed. Um, oh, apparently she's been doing something with kelp here. That's interesting. Oh, I just got a big um, smelter. Oh, that's something I really want to make is an automated smelter, like a giant ultimate uh, automated smelter. I think that'd be really awesome, so I don't have to wait so long for things to smell up. Um, this is a sign I left. Because <laughs> this was after I died in the nether, and I really did not want to go back. And I needed quartz. <laughs> so I just came in here and kind of uh, uh, did a little borrowing. Really, I'm just looking around, seeing what, what else there could be here. Now, I try to take notes of like the things that we do throughout the week, but... Now, uh, Eva just makes a lot of little things that sometimes I'm not even aware of. <laughs> right, so, oh, we can take a look at some of her, oh my gosh, uh, that was a big fall. That, that, that was not good. So this is her melon farm from the outside here. 
pretty simple one. I, I need to make myself one of these. I'm thinking about making this underneath my cottage. I'm going to make a lot of like little farms and systems down there. Um, she has hers out here and I assume she's planning on making more farms and stuff on this platform here. And then over here, we've got her creeper farm. She needs to, uh, I think build it up a little bit higher so she gets some more creepers spawning in because right now it's pretty slow. Um, I'd say it gets the job done, but like it's literally been here for a week or two. <laughs> it's only got like, like, like three stacks. Um, but she has a lot more cats now, so that should make it much easier to expand on that. And of course, I'm not certain if she's been taking gunpowder out of there or not. Oh, we're back up here, of course. So on the topic of this rail system, as I said, it goes out very, very far. And we've actually went along it and we found a vill pillager outpost, or is it illager? They're illagers, aren't they? Yeah, an illager outpost. And we took it on. We got some cool stuff from it. And, uh, yee. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, my sister and I did a lot more exploring. We explored all around this huge mesa biome and this desert. We found another desert uh, village. We found so many villages this week. We did a whole bunch of exploring. We also took a boat and we went out that direction. So we found some more land. Uh, found some more villages, found all sorts of stuff. It was pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, we got lost a bunch. <laughs> and also, uh, on one of these adventures, I got very lost, but I got a bunch of dogs. <laughs> but of course, I went on my boat and came back home, so I don't really know where my dogs are right now. Um, there, There's a bunch of dogs somewhere out there. When I go back near that place, I know they're all going to teleport to me. It's going to be pretty funny, though. Uh, I, I hope it happens when I'm around other people, so it'll be like, bam, I've got a whole army of dogs. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, I was about to say finally, but I'm not saying this is the last thing I have to show, but this is the last thing I've been working on. Oh, also, um, our freak of nature has become more of a freak of nature because he doesn't have a head. Like, he had it last night. And then I checked, and, and now he does not have it. So, I don't know where his head went. But this is what I've started working on. This is going to be the sheep farm. And it's a rainbow barn. It looks pretty big compared to my sister's stuff, but it's actually pretty small. Um, I think my sister and I just work on a different scale. So, yeah. But it's pretty simple. I'm trying to think of ways to make it look a little more interesting, like maybe add some more shapes to it. But of course it is just a barn and barns tend to be like pretty, you know, square. Maybe I'm, I might uh, add a silo to it. Um, and if I did that, I don't know what colors I should use. Should I go rainbow for it? But then I feel like it'd be too much rainbow. Should I use the dark oak or should I use red maybe? So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, what color silo it should be. I might add it to the left side here somewhere, but this is the start of it. This is why I needed so much quartz for, cause I'm using quartz instead of the white concrete because I can make slabs. And also it's just a very nice, like nice, slightly off white. Oh, and you know what? It's raining and, and dark. <laughs> let's, let's sleep on this for a second. And oh my goodness, there is a kitty cat in this boat. Hi, kitty cat. Hi, cat boat. Oh, he's so cute. I might tame that. He has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. But yeah, let's take a look at this in the morning. It'll look so much cuter. And yes, it is so much cuter in the daytime. You can see all the colors now. I also need to go in and do a lot of detailing up here. Um... I also need to find a proper entrance for it because this isn't a real door. It'd be really cool if I can make like a redstone door here, but I'm not certain how I'm going to do that with it staying like hidden because I imagine it would have to put the pistons like over here. I don't know. But this is it. My sister made the suggestion that I use um, glass for the ceiling and I think that was a great idea. It looks so cool with that. I don't know how realistic that is for a barn. But it's pretty awesome and it brings in a lot of natural lighting into here because it was pretty dark in here before that. 
And then I am all out of quartz, so I'm going to need more quartz to finish the back. And I, I guess I'm just going to make the back be basically the same as the front, because that's how I imagine a barn would be. Like, if you had stalls for animals, right, you'd have the two big doors on both sides, so you can take them in and out. Um... At least that's what I that's what I assume. I guess that that might be more like a stable, but you know, trailers, animals, trucks, any of those things, big things that you got to move through a barn, you would have big doors for. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out though. I love the bright concrete colors for the roof, and then using the kind of uh, faded out looking terracotta in the front. I think it's pretty cute. Very simple, but pretty cute. So, switching along the edge of this shore, I have something pretty neat to show. Um, when my sister and I were doing a bunch of exploring, we went out that way, and of course we didn't have beds on us, so we hadn't slept for a while, and we started getting attacked by phantoms. But the funniest thing happened, and when the phantoms got caught in Faith's boat, and we, since then, have kept it as a pet. It should be somewhere around here. <laughs> I, I made, I put a little dirt hut around it so, you know, it wouldn't burn up in the sun. Um, it's still in the boat. I had a name tag. I was going to name it Danny. Um, but apparently you can't put name tags on things that are on boats, I think. Um, it just didn't seem to be working. So I, I think that's how that is. Wow. Well, note to self not to bury things with just dirt because then it turns to grass blocks and looks no different from the rest of the landscape. Ah! Oh, you know what? I did put some torches on the top of it. Maybe that'll help me find it. Oh, there it is! It's, it's on the other side. Its name is Danny. Hi, Danny! How you doing? Oh, he loves it in there. He's so happy. I might I might make a room for him, set him free, put a name tag on him, um, and, and let him live a little happy life, but for now, he's just in here. Okay, so, funny story time. Come join me here on the couch, bring a snack, and listen up. So, the other day, I logged on, and apparently, we could not see each other's chat. So, we all got on. And I said hey to everyone, to nobody's reply, and I, I got I got a little frustrated. I was like, oh my gosh, are they playing tricks on me or something? Because Eva and Faith live together, by the way. And I was like, uh, they, they, they must be messing with me, like not talking to me. So I, I started joking around in the chat, being like, ah, oh, sigh, long dramatic sigh. I actually have screenshots of it. I'll show you guys uh, right here, actually. There you go. See the chat. Read it. Love it. Take it all in. So, yeah, and um, meanwhile, my, on my sister's side, she thought I was ignoring her, <laughs> and she was getting kind of sad about that, um, and I think I, I think I may have actually made her pretty upset with that, even though I was just joking around. So in my joking around, I was like, ah, I'll, I'll make you talk or get something in the chat, so I, I slayed her with my sword, like, just joking around. I, I do that a lot to her, by the way. <laughs> And, um, and then she left the game and I was like, oh, why, why did she leave the game? Finally, I got on Discord and we talked and turned out, yeah, nobody could read each other's chat. It was so weird. It was just for that day. And she, she did genuinely get upset at me when I, when I slayed her because she thought I was messing with her and then I killed her. She thought that I was really mad at her and was not telling her why I was mad at her when that was so not the case. Um, so, yeah, good thing we got that cleared up, <laughs> but it, it was pretty funny. Um, in hindsight, it, it was very funny. But let me know if that's, like, happened to you guys in your realms, because it was so strange. I've never seen that happen before. So, yeah, did, did anyone else experience anything like that recently on their realms? Is that a thing that just happens? It also got rid of all the text on our signs. I am jumping on jelly. This is like <laughs> cat abuse. I'm trying to get back on the couch. I just don't know how to run in, F in F3 or F5. This is F5. I don't know how to run in F5. Okay, there we go. I'm back on the couch. Sorry. Sorry, jelly. Didn't mean to be stomping on you there. 
But yeah, it, it's so strange. Um, funny, but strange. A bit frustrating. But uh, yeah, thankfully it's all gone back to normal. The text is back on signs now. But that actually took like two days to fix. Uh, for a while there was just no text on the signs. Or you had to replace it. So yeah, that kind of sucked. And that's why if you see some of the signs are a little bit different from how they were before, uh, that's why we had to replace a few signs. But then like the next day after we replaced the signs, the original text like reappeared on other signs. So yeah, who knows what was going on with that. And that's about all I've got for that story. Uh, it, it Honestly, it sounded funnier in my head. And then once I started talking, I was like, eh, I guess it's just a plain, boring, normal little story. Whatever. Ooh, if I crouch like this, it looks like I'm kind of sitting on the couch. <laughs> oh my gosh, how did I forget to mention this? I started making a little pond. It's really ugly. I was going to terraform it more, but I just haven't gotten around to that. And I have the tallest bush. Yep. And it's going to continue to grow and become taller until I have the world's record tallest bush. So I think that's going to do it for us this week. Thank you guys for joining me on the tour and hope to see you again next time. Bye.